Hello, sports fans. It is Monday, April the 18th, the year 2016. And as always, a lot to get to in the sports world, so let's get it going right now. Great to be back with you guys. Hope you had a fabulous weekend. We're going to skip around a little bit today, do a little potpourri. We'll start in the NBA. The NBA playoffs have tipped off. We'll start in the Western Conference, where Golden State leads Houston one game to zero. You expect Golden State to cruise here. I mean, Houston is a mediocre team at best. Dwight Howard's game has fallen apart. Houston was lucky to uh, even make the playoffs. You expect Golden State to roll here. Keep an eye on the Curry injury. Remember, Curry is uncertain for game two, and he's had foot problems in the past, so you want to keep an eye on that. The only thing that could slow Golden State down is injuries or if they're completely fatigued from breaking that record. Remember, Golden State had a long season. They went 73-9, and and it took a lot to break that record. I never thought that Bulls record was going to fall, so give Golden State all sorts of credit for going for that record and getting it. I was very disappointed the next day after Golden State broke that record that all anyone was talking about was Kobe Bryant's last game and how he scored 60 points. I mean, was there any doubt that Kobe Bryant was going to take 80 shots and score like 50, 60 points? I didn't find that surprising at all. You knew they were going to give him the ball every time. I mean, you knew he was going to take a million shots. So why is that surprising that Kobe Bryant had 60 points on like 80 shots in his last game? To me, I wasn't surprised about that at all. I mean, I was so disappointed. That's all they were talking about the next day was Kobe Bryant. And listen, Kobe Bryant's a great player. He's an all-time great. He won five titles. I understand all that. But the story the next day should have been Golden State. They went 73-9. and nine. You know what kind of record that is? So I was disappointed by the people, you know, on ESPN and the NBA people. All they wanted to talk about was Kobe Bryant. I just didn't understand it. I thought the Golden State story was much more intriguing. But anyway, Golden State, Houston, Golden State leads 1-0. Clippers blew out Portland last night. Clippers lead 1-0. You expect the Clippers to roll there. San Antonio leads Memphis 1-0. Same story. Memphis is depleted. No Gasol, no Conley. I mean, this is going to be a sweep. Oklahoma City 1-0 over Dallas. Oklahoma City blew Dallas out in the, in the first uh, game. You expect Golden State... Clippers, San Antonio, and Oklahoma City to all roll in the first round. As far as the East, Cleveland struggled but did beat Detroit in Game 1, so Cleveland leads 1-0. Atlanta won a tough game against Boston, so the Hawks are up 1-0. Indiana stole one on the road against Toronto, so Indiana's up 1-0. And Miami just crushed Charlotte, so Miami is up 1-0. Remember, no Bosch for the Heat in the playoffs. In the NBA, you won't get too many upsets. The best teams usually win in the NBA. You're not going to get an 8 seed in the NBA, go win the NBA championship. It's just not going to happen. The bigger teams usually win, so the favorites are going to win a lot of these games. So I, I don't expect much drama in the first round from the NBA at all. Over to the NHL where you will get a lot of drama. You can get an 8th seed that gets to the cup final. The NHL playoffs to me has a lot more drama than the NBA because the NHL, you can have upsets. All right, NHL Eastern Conference. Washington leads Philly two games to zero. Washington is a tremendous team. If Washington doesn't do it this year, they're never going to do it. And Washington's never won a cup. Ovechkin's never won a cup. But this team is just rock solid. They have a tremendous team. It has to be this year for Washington. Right now, they're off to a good start. Pittsburgh and the Rangers 1-1. Pittsburgh cruised in the first game, but the Rangers came back and tied them in the second game. Remember, the Rangers have knocked out Pittsburgh the last two years, and with Lundqvist, the Rangers can beat anyone. Uh, Islanders are up 2-1 against Florida. Great job by the Islanders. They win 4-3 in overtime in Brooklyn last night. They were down 3-1 in that game. Nice rally by the Islanders. And Tampa Bay leads Detroit two games to one. That should be a long series. Remember, one of Tampa Bay's best players could be out for the playoffs, so we'll keep an eye on that. As far as the Western Conference, Nashville, a surprising 2-0 lead against Anaheim, won both games on the road. So great job by Nashville. San Jose, same thing. They won both games in L.A. They're up two games to zero. San Jose doesn't have a long history, but they have a history of losing a lot of tough series and blowing a lot of big leads. So this series is not over by any means. San Jose has lost a lot of big leads in their history. Dallas up 2-0 against Minnesota, won uh, both games at home. Dallas had a tremendous year. And St. Louis is up 2-1 against Chicago. They won yesterday, hung on and won 3-2. St. Louis uh, regains home uh, ice advantage. That is going to be a great series, St. Louis and Chicago. Two old-time fashion rivals slugging it out. 
So great stuff there. The NHL playoffs is fabulous. You got to check it out. As far as Major League Baseball, real quick, we're so early in the baseball season. The season goes on for six months. It never ends. As far as the American League East, Baltimore's off to a nice start, 8-3. and three. You know they can hit, but can they pitch? Everyone else in the East is kind of around 500. As far as the Central, you know Kansas City's going to be good. They're 8-4. White Sox doing some nice things at 8-4. Detroit 7-4. As far as the West, Texas is 7-6. They're leading in the division. Everyone else kind of mediocre. Houston very disappointing uh, so far. 5-8. They should be better than that. As far as the National League East, Washington 9-2. They're doing a great job. Everyone else kind of around 500. Mets not off to a great start. We'll keep an eye on DeGrom, uh, DeGrom with his injury, but there's all sorts of time. You know the Mets are going to be there with that pitching. As far as the Central, the Cubs are 9-3. You know they're going to have a tremendous team. Could this be the year the Cubs finally win the World Series? St. Louis 7-5. Everyone else around 500 or lower. As far as the National League West, Dodgers, Giants, Colorado, all doing some nice things. You don't expect a lot from San Diego this year. You figure Arizona would be better, but they're off to a tough start. Baseball, all sorts of time to go. Uh, going back to the golf, where uh, Willett won the uh, Masters, he played some really good golf. What was he, the second player uh, from England to ever win the Masters? Spieth collapsed. Spieth in three holes went from like five strokes up to like four strokes back. Spieth completely collapsed, but give the young man uh, you know, a pass. He won the Masters last year, finished second this year. He's so young, he'll be back. As far as the NFL, we got the draft coming up. The Rams traded for the first round pick. Remember the Rams moving to LA. We'll see who they take. You got to think they're taking a quarterback. I'll tell you what, for everything the Rams gave up, the quarterback they take better be good. Kentucky Derby coming up. You believe it's Kentucky Derby time already? Hard to top what American Pharaoh did last year. I haven't gotten into the horse racing yet. I, got, I haven't even looked at it. I took a peek at the Florida Derby, but I haven't even glanced at the horses this year. It's going to be tough to follow American Pharaoh's act from last year, but the Kentucky Derby right around the corner. As uh, far as some boxing and UFC, UFC was approved in New York, so they will have their first event at Madison Square Garden. I do think it should be approved. I know a lot of people argue with me. I think UFC should be approved. I don't think you can ban it, because if you ban UFC, what are you going to ban next? You're going to ban boxing. You're going to ban football. You're going to ban hockey. You can't ban all these things. UFC and boxing, I want to make this point. Now, boxing has a lot of history. They do have a lot of history. But lately, I'll tell you, and I watch both, I'm a fan of both. The UFC puts on a better show to me. The UFC, if you go pluck down your 50 bucks for a, a pay-per-view with the UFC, you get your money's worth more than you do with boxing. I have been let down so many times when I pluck down my 50, 60, 70 bucks to watch a boxing pay-per-view. I'll tell you, boxing, I, I, I'm really down on boxing. The thing about the UFC is the top guys seem to want to fight each other. In boxing, they seem to want to avoid each other. Then you have no heavyweight division anymore in boxing. The heavyweight division's been a complete joke for years. So the UFC, to me lately, puts on a better show. I mean, that's just my opinion. I like both, and boxing has a rich history. But I'll tell you, I've been down on boxing lately. And then you got... Boxing, it's so, it's so just, it's so messed up all the time where you got four champions in one division and you don't know who the real champion is and they're all avoiding each other and it's just so convoluted boxing. At least UFC, I know the top guys are going to eventually face each other. They all seem to want to face each other in boxing. That doesn't seem to be the case. To me right now, the UFC puts on a better show and the UFC has better marketing. I could turn on Fox Sports 1 and they're talking about the UFC. I never hear anything about boxing unless I'm on uh, HBO or Showtime, which I'm very rarely on because those are movie channels. So it's not really a sports network. You turn on Fox Sports 1, there's always something about the UFC on there. Boxing, you have to go to like a movie channel to hear anything about boxing. So I'm very down on boxing right now and I am a fan of boxing. But right now, to me, the UFC puts on a better show. That's just my opinion. I do like both. UFC puts on a better show. Conor McGregor and Diaz, they will have their rematch at 170 uh, coming up very soon. Remember, uh, Diaz beat McGregor. I don't know about McGregor fighting at this weight. He's a 145-pound fighter. He's fighting at 170. I think he's biting off more than he can chew here. But I give him credit for taking on the challenge. I mean, so we'll see. That fight's coming up in a couple weeks. Should have some tremendous fights coming up this summer and into the uh, fall. And as far as soccer, real quick, 
The Champions League uh, semifinals are set. It'll be Real Madrid against Athletic Madrid. Athletic Madrid beat Barcelona. I was happy to see that. I've had enough of Barcelona lately. They've won too much for me. And Bayern Munich will play Manchester City in the other semifinal match. And as far as the Premier League, by the way, how about this Leicester City? They are eight points up with four games to go. Uh, Tottenham is in second place. They do have a game in hand. So if Tottenham wins today, they get to win in five points. But Leicester City was 5,000 to 1 to win the Premier League this year. And they have a great chance of doing it. Had that 2 2 tie yesterday and just a crazy game. And getting back to the Spanish League, by the way, Barcelona had a huge lead in that. They've fallen on hard times. Barcelona had this huge winning streak. Now they're having trouble winning a game. Atletico caught them, and now Madrid is right behind them. So Barcelona bounced out of the Champions League and now is hanging on in the Spanish Premier League. So we'll keep an eye on that for all you soccer fans. Okay, there you go. You guys are all caught up. Did a little potpourri today. Jumped around a little bit. We're very early in the NBA playoffs. We're very early in the NHL playoffs, but please check it out. To me, the NHL playoffs is some great drama. If you're not into hockey, check it out. You will fall in love with it. So you guys, thanks for the support as always. Enjoy the games. If you're betting the games, pick a lot of winners. Make a lot of money. Thanks for the support as always. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.